So today, I'm going to tell you that secret ingredient for that red marinated Mexican meat market meat. The kind that's already marinated and it has that red color. Yeah, come in closer. It's a natto seed. Okay, video over. There's the secret. Moving along. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Simply Mama Cooks. I'm Angelica. So today I am going to discuss how you get that red color for that Mexican meat market prepared meat that you can buy by the pounds. Sometimes it's chicken, sometimes it's beef. I even think they have pork. It's really good and I'll, I can tell you how to make it yourself. You can even buy a bottle of this at the grocery store if you have Latin grocery stores or the, the meat markets. The only thing about buying the pre-made mix of that marinade is that it has dye in it, which is not great. It's not good at all. And my conclusion is the pre-mixed marinades that you can just add to the meat has the dye in it to kind of cover for the lack of actual anato seed in the marinade. So making it yourself is totally worth it. And I can show you how to do that. I actually have a video that I did it has to be last year, over a year ago, and I used chicken. And that marinade had sour orange in it. But I know that is not an ingredient that everyone can procure. You can definitely order ground up anato seeds or even the whole ones that you can grind up yourself. You can order those online. But sour orange is going to be a bit harder. So you can mix orange and lime, orange and lemon, lemon and lime, that's kind of what I'm doing today. And it, it works, it totally works, it gets the job done. And this marinade is so simple to make and it's so good. And I'd like to add, my marinades that I use with the anato seeds, it varies, it just depends on what I have and what I feel like adding. So the one that I used in the chicken video and the one that I'm doing today, it varies, but it all tastes good. And that's what matters. So that secret ingredient is anato seed and I'm going to show you how to make it. By the way, anato seed comes from the achiote tree. Little red seeds, you grind it up. It comes in paste form also, or the ground form or whole seeds. I can find all three. But again, the one that you can buy in a box that's paste, it has dye in it. So if you're okay with that, I'm look, you do you. But if you want a more natural sans dye version, I'm going to show you today. Here we go. So here I'm starting with a half teaspoon of dried Mexican oregano, and I'm going to grind and break this apart. I'm also adding some whole cumin seeds and black peppercorns into my pestle and mortar. So you can definitely use pre-ground ingredients. This is what I have, and I find that using whole cumin seeds and crushing them and grinding them up, it's a lot more aromatic. So a little bit goes a long way when you're using the whole seed. So I'm just gonna continue grinding this up. It's not going to be a fine ground, but pretty much crushed and ground up smaller than what I started with. Now I'm going to add it into this bowl. Actually, this is a, a large measuring cup and I didn't use all of it. I'm eyeballing things and this is where you kind of use your own like palette to do things. I've added like a tablespoon and a half of avocado oil. Now I'm going to shake in my ground anato seed. Maybe like a tablespoon is what I added. So yeah, for the sake of the measurement, a tablespoon. Here I'm going to add some salt-free lemon pepper. Again, a lot of these dry ingredients and spices are really up to you and what you have. I'm going with some granulated garlic powder. And when I say granulated, it means it's not a fine powder because there is garlic powder that's really like dusty and fine. This one is not it. I'm also adding granulated onion powder. And again, I'm eyeballing things. For the sake of a recipe, maybe a teaspoon each of the onion and garlic powder and the lemon pepper. So here I like to add soy sauce. Sometimes I add Maggie. Sometimes you can just add salt into the mix. I'm not gonna add any salt because I'm adding this soy sauce and it makes it easier if I remove that. So I'll say three tablespoons of soy sauce. And even when I mix this up, I'm gonna give it a taste. If I need to adjust things, I will. Okay, so now I'm gonna squeeze in my fresh lime and lemon. These are a medium lemon, a medium lime, the juice of it. If you have sour orange, perfect. If you wanna add 
orange and lime together or orange and lemon, that also works. I do that sometimes. Now I'm going to give it a mix and then you'll want to give it a taste and adjust the seasoning and salt to your preference. This is right on the money for me, so I'm going to give it a good mix and this is ready. So I'm working with around two pounds of beef skirt meat and I'm going to pour in all of this marinade into this freezer bag and then I'm going to enclose it, mix it up and let it marinate. You can marinate this overnight in the refrigerator or at least a couple of hours before you cook. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Maybe stick around a little longer and see what you like on the channel. And you know, subscribe, like, share, all that good stuff. And for those of you that have been with me for a long period of time, just remember, I'm only posting on YouTube, sometimes on TikTok, but I'm not posting on Facebook. That page is still hacked. Okay, so it has been around three to four hours and I'm ready to cook this. You can grill this on your barbecue grill. I'm going for the stovetop. Preheated pan with cooking oil and I'm just going to cook and sear this. So I want to mention how long you cook your meat is up to you. I'm going for about five minutes on each side. If there's a little pink in the center, I'm okay with that. But for the most part, my family likes it closer to well, medium well to well, but it really is up to you. And you just want to give it a flip, continue to cook. And like I said, the doneness is up to you and your preferences. I'm also going to add sliced onion this is great when I go to slice the meat after I rest it, of course, and you add it to your tacos. That's actually what I'm making today. These are just stovetop carne asada tacos using that red meat marinade. So good. Sometimes I even like to add fresh jalapenos whole into the pan. So once it's done, I'm going to put it on this baking sheet. I've already removed all of the sauteed onions. And I'm going to place all of the meat and let it rest for about 15 minutes before slicing into it. You want to make sure you let it rest because it is going to be tender and juicy and you want the meat to retain as much of those natural juices as possible. But it smells amazing. I just take another baking sheet and top it. And that's that. I'm going to let it hang out and then I'm going to slice into it. In the meantime, here in my pan I have leftover rendered fat, juices, marinade so I'm going to warm my corn tortillas right into this pan and it's going to pick up any flavor and the oil is just going to soften these corn tortillas and just heat them through. This is pretty much a stovetop version of those taquero style tacos that you get when you go to the taco trucks or when they have that plancha or the the griddle that they're cooking the carne asada with the tortillas on it it's so good and it picks up all of that fond and flavor it's truly a favorite in my house okay so once these are done it's time to slice into this meat okay i already took a bite it's so good but i'm just going to thinly slice this and you can see how tender and juicy this meat comes out it's so good now once it's sliced it's time to make tacos. I'm gonna show you how simple this taco is, but it really does have tons of flavor. The meat, the onion, and I'm just gonna go for this green guacamole salsa. It's basically store-bought salsa mixed with a fresh avocado. It's so good, and that's it. This is the taco. I'm gonna make several of these, and my family is so happy with this. So there's that. Not bad. A lot of those ingredients you can order online or get them from your local Latin grocery store. Or if you have a Mexican meat market, you probably can find it there. So I hope you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one. Bye.